All right, guys, so we're going to start with the basics. We're going to just dive right into this. The Blender version I'm using is 2.9, as you can see from this top right, right here. Okay. Um, I wanted to get screencast, but for some reason I can't get it to work. So I'm just going to say the buttons I'm pressing as I'm pressing them. So a lot of it is very repetitive. All right. So I um, hope you guys can follow along. All right. So when you first open Blender, this is the screen you're going to get. Okay. We're going to hit general because we're not doing animation, sculpting, visual effects, or video editing. We're going to hit general and it's going to take you to this screen. Okay. This was what you call your UI. There's a lot going on on here, so we're just going to take it uh, step by step. Let's go here first. This is kind of like your collection. This is where you're going to see your shapes, your objects, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, let me get my notes up here. All right. So we're going to go up here. A lot of these things you don't need. So we're going to hit click on the light. And we're going to hit X to delete it. Click on the camera, which is this thing. Hit X to delete it. X as an X-ray. Okay. Now, I use the right mouse button because I'm used to it. And so I change my preferences. But to move is the middle mouse button. Okay. So if you hold that middle mouse button and move your mouse, it's going to change the view. Okay. When you hit shift and then the middle mouse button, it's going to move it. Um, it's going to pan it. Okay. When you hit control and that middle mouse button and you move it up and down, it is a uh, more precise zooming to so control and moving forward and back. Right. If you do it side to side, it's not going to do anything. It's up and down. Okay. So you're going to be using that a lot. Okay, play around with it, hit shift and middle mouse button to move around. No shift, just the middle mouse button is going to change the view. All right. <clears throat> now, look up here. It says object mode, top left, object mode. See my mouse? Okay, object mode. When I hit tab, it's going to take me to edit mode. All right, sorry. Edit mode. <laughs> I had to click on the object first, right? So if I hit tab object mode, if I if nothing is selected and I hit tab, oh, it does go into edit mode. All right, go. So hitting tab um, toggles object mode and edit mode. Object mode is where you can scale it and do a bunch of stuff to it. When you go to edit mode, you're going to edit the object. Okay, the cube is selected. And it's gonna it's gonna edit the object, okay? Oh, sorry, I forgot to say about, say about. So, the scroll wheel is zoom. Up is to zoom in. Pulling the scroll scroll wheel back is um, going to pull it back. All right. So, we're in edit mode, okay? These three boxes are the three things you're gonna manipulate on the object, which is the vertex, the edge, and the face. Okay. When you hit the number one, right above the Q, right, not numpad one, is going to select, put you in vertex select mode, which means you can edit vertices. Hover, making a box over the selected um, vertex is going to select it. If there are multiple vertices in the box, like these two, it's going to select both of them. Okay. Now, if I select a, verte a vertex and I hit shift and either box, box click or just click on it, it's going to select it. So shift plus box or shift plus click is going to select another one. So if I just hit shift and I start clicking, it's going to select a bunch of them. Okay. Clicking outside of those is going to deselect it. All right. Edge mode is the same. It's going to select this edge. Shift plus selecting an edge is going to select all those edges. Okay. Now say I selected all these edges right here. I want to deselect one of them. 
I'm going to hold shift and click on the one I want to deselect. And it's going to deselect it. Now only these three edges are highlighted. And these are the ones we're going to manipulate. Okay. Now hitting the, that's the, if you hit number two, it's going to hit, take you to edge mode. Number one is for as vertex mode. Two is edge mode. See, now I can't select any vertices. I can only select edges. Now, I'm going to click outside to deselect. I'm going to press the number three to go into face mode. It toggles between these three. Face mode means you can select, guess what? The face. The face. Bonus points if you can um, find the movie reference. <laughs> All right, so face mode. All right, same thing. Shift selects it. Okay. And that's basically the, that's, uh, the selection mode. All right, now hit number one to go back into vertex mode. First, we're gonna go into moving something. So I want you to select this vertex right here and I want you to hit the letter G as in grab. Think of um, a hand grabbing that point and now you're able to move it around. Don't press anything, okay? Just your pit G. Because you already selected it, you can move it around. When you right mouse button, it's going to cancel it and put it right back. Now, if you select it and you press G and you move and you and you click, it's going to move it there. Now it's there. But we don't want to do that. Okay? You're going to hit Control Z to undo. Boop. It's going to put it back. Yay. All right? Control Z is to undo. Okay, here's the thing though, guys. You can only undo so many times. Your undos are limited. <laughs> so be careful when you're working. <laughs> All right, I, I've had to restart some projects or um, had a bunch of headaches uh, just because I had to restart and <laughs> because I was, I used up all my undos. <laughs> All right, so again, that's just grab. Okay, we're gonna hit the number two. We're gonna select this vertex, or not vertex, this edge, G. Now it's gonna grab this entire edge, okay? Right click, cancels. Left click, settles the command, okay? Control Z is undo. Same thing with the face. We're gonna hit the number three, select the face, G, grab, okay? Grab. That's to select, undo. If you grab and you didn't want to do it, right click, cancel. All right, so we're gonna go back to vertex mode, hit number one, right above the Q, and we're gonna grab this vertex again, okay? Now I'm gonna hit G, then X. When I hit that, in that particular order, is going to constraint the, excuse me, the moving or the grabbing on the X axis, okay? If I hit Y, it's gonna constrain it to the Y axis. If I hit Z, I can constrain it to the Z axis. So the command for that is G first, okay? Now I can grab it. Say I'm over here and I'm gonna, and like, oh my gosh, I forgot to hit the X. Just hit X, it's gonna constrain it back to the X. Okay, that's it. Same thing for that. And the edges work the same way. Edge, grab, um, oh, I'm too far. I wanna grab it on the, you know, on the Y. Boom, now it's on the Y, right? Or the Z. Okay, that's that. Um, now we're going to extrude, okay? E stands for extrude. We're going to hit the number one to go back into vertex mode. We're going to shift control, or sh sorry, shift left mouse, uh, shift middle mouse button to pan. We're going to select this vertex. We're going to hit E, and it's going to extrude that. It's going to generate another vertex and it's gonna create an edge, 
Okay, so we're gonna, I hit E and I'm extruding to the left. I'm gonna click to do the command. Now, if I go into edge mode, press the number two, there's an edge there, which I can also grab, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna undo those. I'm going to select this vertex again. I'm going to hit E again, and I'm gonna hit Z. What do you think that's going to do? It's going to extrude, but it's going to constrain it just to the Z. Now I have a perfect line straight up from the cube. Okay? It all works the same way for the edge and the face. So we're going to hit 2 to go on the edge. I'm going to select that edge. Shift, middle mouse button to pan. Zoom. Extrude. Now when I extrude an edge, you're going to see that's going to make a face. Okay? So I can hit number three. Select that face. Now there's a face. Okay? When you hit undo, it also undoes the select. Right? So when you select something and you hit undo, it's going to go back to the previous selection. So be careful with uh, your undos. Like I said, <laughs> they're limited. They're like, uh, just like your mana. <laughs> Nerd speak. All right, so undo, undo, and um, it, it all works the same way, right? So you're gonna hit, you're gonna click the, the edge, you're gonna hit E to extrude. I wanna extrude just on the X. Now I have a perfect, um, perfectly lined up edge, okay? And so um, we're gonna undo again. Now I'm going to tab to go into object mode. Okay. Now I'm going to hit S as in Sierra for scale. I'm going to scale. When I pull it away, it's going to make it bigger or smaller. Now I can also constrain that to the X, Y, and Z. If I want to just scale it on the X, if I want to just scale it on the Y, I want to just scale it on the Z. Again, left click to confirm the command, right click to cancel. Okay? All right, so that's really the basics of, um, of commands, selection, so on and so forth. Um, on the next video, we're going to set up Blender so that we have our, um, uh, our setups for, for what we need. Um, again, I like the right mouse click for movement because I'm so used to it from Simplify 3D um, when it first started in, in, in 3D stuff. So, all right, now we're gonna go into setup and I'll see you in the next video.